Hello everybody, my name is Maddie and welcome back to my channel, but if you are new, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to update everybody on where I have been and also do my makeup at the same time because I think this would be a easier going video if I have like something to do with my hands. By the way, new set, what do you think? I will also kind of like get into like what products I am using um, in case if anyone's wondering. Oh, I forgot to wet my sponge. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, sponge is wet and sponge is also torn the heck up because um, my nails, so please ignore that. Um, to start off my makeup, I use the L'Oreal Pro Matte Foundation. I have the color 102, which is shell beige, and I'm just gonna be putting that all over my face. Uh, things that have been going on with me. Let's see, I mean, it has been quite an interesting two years for me. I started getting spotty with my posting pretty much right when I was like getting ready to move. And that was just a lot for me. Uh, we downsized a lot. I lived in a house with my whole family and then we downsized to an apartment and you know I feel like a lot of like okay not a lot of creators but some people can agree that recording with like a house full of like family or like people in close proximity is like kind of awkward I don't know like I hate doing it and that's the thing that's so weird is like I have no issue with people in my life watching my YouTube videos. I encourage it, actually. Oh my God, I'm getting foundation all over my hair clip. I put in these colored clips to match with my nails and they're like kind of getting in the way. And I put them here to keep my hair out of my face. So that's kind of when I stopped recording is because literally like I was like five feet away from the kitchen like my bedroom was or like I was literally like right next to my little brother's bedroom. So I just felt weird doing it. Um, I don't like it when people can overhear me, which leads me to my situation now where I'm able to record because I live with my boyfriend now. We've been together for probably like close to a year and a half now. We were in the talking stage for a long time. So it is more like two years. Now I met him and we moved in together really soon. We moved in together six months into dating, but it was like a year into knowing each other. And it was one of those things that I just knew it was right. You know, like a lot, a lot of people were like, oh, like, you know, typically you wanna wait a couple of years until you do that. But like, I don't know. And I ended up being right. Like us living together is very seamless and chill. And I don't know, like, it's just literally the most chill relationship I have ever been in. <laughs> but no, I moved in with him and I was working at Starbucks, which let me tell you, that shit kind of sucked. I had not the best mental health when I was working at Starbucks. If you are hip to anything going on with Starbucks, just know that there's like a bunch of like, you know, unionizing stores and stuff. And one of my stores was a unionized store. We definitely got treated differently because of that. They messed with like our tipping. I also just feel like I wasn't getting paid a anywhere good amount of money. Like I was not getting any hours. I <laughs> was absolutely busting my ass there. And then I would get a paycheck and it would be like 600 bucks and I'm like, Oh my God. And yeah, just a lot of like struggling mentally when I was there. Ugh, gosh, I don't know. That's the main reason I think why I wasn't recording is I wasn't getting any alone time. And I also was at Starbucks and it's not to the fault of anyone I lived with. It's just like by alone, I mean home alone time. Like there was just always someone in the house and it was really hard for me to record. Then like the time that I did have alone in the house is typically when I was off of work and like my body hurt my mind was just so like dead like I literally couldn't even think about recording like that's definitely how exhausting and I know it, there's gonna be some people who are like oh you were just a barista how hard can it be but like you have to think about it man like six to eight hour shifts of just getting like so much 
crap from customers. Also dealing with all the drama of being a union. And there was also like, you know, coworker drama. Um, I know that happens at a lot of workplaces, but it was definitely a little, a little different with my Starbucks. I started looking for other jobs because I was like, oh, I could do YouTube, but you know, I need money. By the way, my concealer I'm using is Tarte's Shape Tape and I'm using it in the color 208. Anyways, uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so I started looking for other jobs. I got a job at this cybersecurity place and I'm not gonna say who it is because um, they screwed me over real bad, like real bad. And I don't wanna get in trouble. Everything was going well. They ran a background check of me. Like they ran a background check when I was going to get hired and they were like, oh, perfect, you're hired. And I was like, okay, um, great. Cause you know, there's nothing bad on my background check, but let's just say they don't like who I was associated with. And this isn't like a sketchy thing. Like it's not like, oh, I'm associated with people who do drugs. Like it's not like that. I really can't say too much about it, but I wanna be like giving you guys updates. They didn't like who I was associated with and they found out while I was already working there and doing a great job, may I add, I was doing super great and it was paying really well. So of course I was gonna like put in my best work, but no, they, um, they fired me like literally six days into working there. And that sucked. That sucked really, really, really bad because it was the same exact time that my boyfriend was out of a job. Yeah, like I kind of just like fell apart and this wasn't too long ago. This was like a month ago, right? So, um, but things are getting better. My boyfriend got a new job and I was job searching and I kept getting job interviews because I don't know if you guys know this or not, or if I've said this on my channel, but I have my business degree. The only places that wanted to hire me is like door-to-door -door sales. And I'm sorry, but sales, no. Like, <laughs> it's so stressful. So, oh, and I'm putting baby powder on my face right now. That's what I use for my powder and it always has worked for me. And I don't care what anyone has to say, I like it. But no, I'm not doing door-to-door -door, uh, sales. Like that's just like, that's too stressful for me. I already have a slew of like 10 different anxiety disorders. Like I'm not doing that. So, you know, cause I wanna have like some standards. Like I'm not that desperate for a job. I was like, well, how's my YouTube doing? I've, I've seen the messages from you guys in the comments that were checking in on me, making sure I was okay. And that stuff meant the world to me. But I'm gonna be honest at the same time, it was very heartbreaking. Cause I did wanna go back to YouTube, but I have bills to pay. It just wasn't a viable option. I sat down with my boyfriend and we had a little adult conversation. He was like, listen, if you part-time do YouTube and part-time find another job to do, you can pursue YouTube because clearly it makes you very happy. And I said, yes, it do. It do be making me super happy. Like we pretty much just figure out a way to work out finances. And now I part-time do DoorDash and I part-time do YouTube. And it's actually really nice. Um, I don't mind DoorDash at all because I get to drive around in my beautiful car and listen to my beautiful music and give people food, okay? That is easy. And it doesn't pay that bad. The only thing that's mildly annoying is I live in an area where there's mad apartments. So like sometimes navigating and, sorry, I hit the camera. Sometimes navigating and doing like street parking and finding these apartments is frustrating. But, oh, now I'm doing my eyebrows and I'm using the Anastasia Dip Brow. Uh, I have it in taupe, but that's because they were out of blonde. I usually, usually use blonde, but I didn't notice too big of a difference, so. So that's my situation right now. Am I struggling financially? I'm not doing the best financially. Like we can make that assumption, but am I struggling? No. Am I 10 million times happier than I ever was at Starbucks or even for those couple of days I worked at that cybersecurity place? Yes. I am way happier and way more fulfilled doing what I actually wanna do than any other position I was in. Cause like, do I really wanna be spending forever working at Starbucks? 
No. And I like thought about it. I was like, oh, I could work my way up. Like I thought about becoming like a supervisor and like working my way up and I was gonna become a coffee master. If you don't know what that is, that's when you get the black apron for being really good at making coffee. <laughs> it sounds so stupid now, but at the time I was like, oh, that would be cool. And I was like, dude, I don't care about Starbucks like that much. Like I wanna actually do something with my life that is way more fulfilling. And it's just all working out very nicely right now, except for my eyebrows. My eyebrows are pissing me off a little bit. But one thing I have learned through all of this is definitely keeping in check your mental health because I'll tell you what, I'm on three different medications right now. And at first I was pretty ashamed of it. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know. The way I look at it is like, if it makes you happier, you should do it for sure. Like I think I've mentioned on here before that I am bipolar and um, I also have like really bad anxiety and PTSD. You, the list goes on, right? Like I have my medical card too for my PTSD which is nice. I have a little cocktail of meds going on inside of my little body right now. And I could be ashamed of it or I could just be like, well, I feel better, might as well take it and not let the stigma um, ruin it for me. I'm gonna do this eyebrow real quick because dear God, trying to talk and work on this eyebrow, which is, this is the one that always gives me issues, is a struggle, so one second. Now we're gonna do my eyeliner and I actually have a whole video on how I do this. So if you wanna go watch that, you can, um, cause this is definitely gonna be another thing where I can't really talk. Eyeliner secured. You wanna know what my boyfriend says? He says my eyeliner looks like the shadows of the fish in Animal Crossing. Let me know down below if uh, you agree with that or don't, you know, whatever you feel like doing, but. Hello? Yeah, um, can I do May 1st at 8.30? May 1st, all right, I'll go ahead and add you in there, okay? All right, thank you so much. Sorry, <laughs> my psychiatrist is um, leaving her practice, or like not her practice, like the place she works at, and they were like, do you wanna see her before she leaves? I don't even remember what I was talking about, so hopefully it wasn't anything like too important because it's gone, it's out of my brain. Now I'm gonna be putting on bronzer. Oh, and the eyeliner I use is the Makeup Revolution one that looks like this it's the best eyeliner ever and no one can change my mind on that and it's cheap for its price it's the best eyeliner ever i should say it's only like eight bucks um next i'm using this like contour it's by like sugar i don't know what it is honestly i just got it in an ipsy by the way that brings me to what i want to talk about or something i did want to talk about i'm not going to be doing any more ipsy videos for the time being because i haven't gotten ipsy in a really long time and also i know a lot of people have asked me to do more like ear stretching videos which there they are looking super cute or like do another plug collection video. But here's the thing, Miss Ma'am don't have the money to buy any more plugs. I can't really make too much content about that. Um, my content is gonna kind of steer in a different direction. I don't really know which direction yet. I would love if you guys let me know, just message me or comment on this video, whatever works out the best for you of like things that you would wanna see from me, you know? Cause I have a bunch of different interests and hobbies that that I would be willing to get into if you guys are interested in it. You know, like I am here. What does any Austin say? I love his channel, by the way. I'm here to serve you. Whatever you guys wanna see, let me know because um, obviously I wanna do things that I like, but you know, if you guys like it, I'm probably gonna like it. I'm doing my blush now. I'm using this Tarte blush in Glisten. Yeah, but my interests go all the way from obviously makeup and beauty and body modifications to, you know, like I'm really into tarot and oracle decks and crystals. And I'm also super into video games. And I'm the Renaissance woman when it comes to hobbies because I feel like I pick up a hobby, I'm obsessed and then I drop it for like a couple of weeks and I just cycle through all of them. 
them. So, you know, I'm super into like yoga and knitting too. Like girl, don't even get me started. I feel bad that I can't really do too much ear stretching content. And that's where most of you subscribe to me from is like seeing that. And there's not much more to say. Like once you're done stretching your ears, they're kind of just chilling. I say that when this ear actually just got done being so pissed at me. Like, I don't know what I did, but it was so inflamed and swollen. I think I slept on it. Yeah, for the most part, I mean, they're just chilling now. I haven't really bought too much new jewelry or received any new jewelry. So it would be kind of pointless for me to make like a plug collection update. Um, now I'm gonna be doing highlight with this Daisy and Pearl Radiance Booster by Seraphine Botanicals. Looks like this. I don't know, it's another thing I got from Ipsy. Next, I'm gonna be putting on mascara. I have two wands that I wear. I wear the Better Than Sex one on my top lashes, and then I wear the Mega Length one by Wet n Wild on my bottom ones, because the Better Than Sex one is a little too much for my little bottom lashes. It makes me look like one of those scary dolls. But, I think that is pretty much everything. I do have two cats now. Uh, they were my boyfriends, but when we moved in together, they became mine too. And they are my pride and joy. I love them more than anything. I could put in some pictures of them. They are the sweetest little beans that I have ever met in my life. And I'm psycho about them. Their names are Re and Boo. Next, I'm gonna be putting on my lashes. This is the box for them. I wear the Eyler, Eyelore London Lux XL Faux Mink Splendor Faux Mink lashes. Um, it says reusable for 10 wears, bro. I've been wearing this for a long time. I, I try not to completely destroy them because you think I'm out here trying to blow money on lashes like every couple of weeks? You're crazy. You are out of your tree. Okay, and then the lash glue I use is um, the Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive with Aloe. It's black glue because, you know, if you're new to lashes, I wouldn't go with black glue. <laughs> but if you wear as much eyeliner as me, um, I like how it dries better. I'm fighting for my life right now. I would love to give you guys an apartment tour. Uh, sorry, I got a drippy nose. Um, our apartment, we have put a lot of work into it, into making it our cute little home. Dude, I had a small breakfast today and a lot of coffee because I don't know, most people, I'm the same way where I wake up and I'm not like super hungry, but it's all hitting me right now. And I'll tell you what, the shakes are real right now, like super real. When I wanted to start back up on YouTube, I pulled out my camera, you know, blew the dust off it. And I was like, hey queen, I turned on the camera and I found out my mic broke and I was pretty upset, not gonna lie, but we were on a new mic. What do you think? And yeah, that definitely broke my spirits a little bit, but I was like, no, I'm dead set on it. I'm gonna record. So I ordered one off of Amazon and that next day I was like, <clears throat> here we go. We're recording, I'm not getting out of it. Setting spray time. So now we got the Urban Decay Dislick because I'm a greasy hoe. I'm feeling ready to start my day on the right foot, even though I just said that I had like no breakfast and a lot of coffee. I'm wearing a full growl fit right now because I wanted the colors to pop, like gray sweatpants, gray sweatshirt, same color gray too. So it looks like I'm wearing a jumpsuit. And then now we're gonna take my gross makeup towel. I don't want you to look at it, okay? But you're gonna kind of have to. And I'm gonna wipe off all my jewelry. And now that that is done, we're gonna clean off my lippies by licking them. And then after you kind of wipe it off, I have lips again. Now I'm gonna take my Vaseline cocoa butter, put that on my lips. I'm addicted to it. We are all finished. What do we think? And I had such a great time talking with all of you guys and kind of updating you. And now we should be all updated and good. Like I think this is gonna be my last update video I make for a long time. I'm sick of doing it. I just wanna be able to make content for you guys. And I'm sorry for disappearing all the time, but we're done because you know, it's not like I'm trying to juggle a full-time job and YouTube. Now, this is fully a part-time job for me. So I have a schedule set for it and content will be happening. Make sure you guys let me know 
what content you want to see so I can make it for you. If you haven't noticed by now, I do have a very small baby channel. So if you liked this video or if you're new, hi, sorry, I don't, what's up? <laughs> Make sure you subscribe and if you don't want to subscribe like it and if you don't like the video comment and say I hated this and then I know but yeah I believe that's it for today and I will see you guys next week with a new video all right I love you guys bye